Hello guys and welcome to another video and in this video I will be showing you a detailed overview of the Cyanogen mod for Zenfone 5. Now it works on both A500CG and A501CG and the tutorial for installing this ROM and for unlocking your bootloader will be down in the description below. So before we get started I want to say one thing that I am changing the channel name to Windroidica from Technically okay? and you can also visit us as www.windroidica.in Okay, so we'll quickly go to the things that works. Okay, so all the things that you might need to use the phone as a daily driver, like making phone calls using mobile data, GPS, camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and everything else works perfectly as it would work on a stock ROM. So you do not have multiple users right now available. Okay, so I'll just head over to settings. And so if I go into SIM cards, as you can see, I do not have the second SIM available. I do have a SIM card inserted, but it still doesn't show up the SIM card as available. If I need to turn that on, it will just crash. So that's a little bug out there. Okay. So And there's also a bug with the mobile data where the mobile data would work in certain messaging and social apps. So to bypass that, all you have to do is head over to more and go to okay sorry i'm in the wrong place okay i'll just head over to sim cards and sim one settings okay you need to head over and go to access point names and at least select the two options that we have so you might be on a different carrier and so when i came in this settings i found that none of them was selected so while the data was working in some apps like the browser play store and everything else all the social apps weren't able to use the mobile data when I wasn't on Wi-Fi. So if you select one of these, that problem would go away. So there's also a problem with the phone dialer where you cannot change the contact pictures right from the phone dialer. So if you had to change the contact picture of a phone, of a contact, you have to head over into the gallery, select the picture, and then set it as a contact photo. So that's the way around for that. And the next thing that doesn't work right now quite is the camera app. Okay, so the camera does work, don't get me wrong, I'll just show you. So if you just head over into the camera, okay, so that took some time. Okay, so while this will take still pictures quite well, it won't take videos at all. Now, okay, so I'll just take a picture over there and as you can see, that took a picture. But if I try to take a video, it will just crash. Okay, so I'll just try to take a video and as you can see the camera unfortunately the camera has stopped now the workaround for this is using some other camera app like the pixel master camera app now if you did not factory reset your phone you will have most of your Asus apps still still installed installed sorry about that now most of these apps will be removable and most of this app won't work the apps that needs a new UI framework won't work so apps like flashlight clock pixel master camera and the weather application will work however auto start manager and to do lists and the phone dialer apps and stuff won't work so you just can head over into settings and uninstall those apps so if you open the pixel master camera app and then start taking a video it will record those videos okay and if you stop it it will be recorded and saved in your gallery so here it works okay it will take some time to save your videos but it does so that's the workaround for the video camera bug okay so the next thing that i want to show you which i have sh should have shown you at the first is the android version that comes with this so this is cyanogen mod 12.1 so of course this runs on the latest android that is android 5.1.1 so as you can see there is the cyanogen mod 12.1 Okay, so the next thing that you might want to see is the launcher, which we have been seeing all that while, okay? And there's the app drawer. Now, all the settings can be changed. Okay, I do not have room on this home screen, so I'll create a new page. And you can head over into, you can just tap and hold, and then you can just swipe up to head into the launcher settings. Remember, clicking that settings head takes you to the system settings now this is not the google launcher okay even though it looks like it is basically the tributary launcher that comes with cyanogen mod now we'll head over to settings and see all the other features that are present with the cyanogen mod 
So the next thing that you can see is that there are many stuff that you can customize that are pretty standard cyanogen mod stuff to so this notification drawer. Okay, you can show the weather on the notification drawer and you can select and rearrange the quick setting tiles according to your need. The number of selections is quite limited to what ASUS provides us with the stock ROM. So that's a bummer over there. But otherwise, you know, you get all the pretty standard Cyanogen mod stuff and everything works. All the status bar tweaks do work. Okay, all of them works and without a bug. You also have system profiles. Okay, you have the notification drawer that I already showed you. Okay, there's the buttons where you can select custom options and custom functions that the buttons can perform on different occasions. Now, some people ask me as to whether the double tap to wake you know, does work. Okay, it doesn't. I was wrong when I commented that it does. It doesn't work and there's no option to enable it. However, you can double tap on the home screen to sleep or turn off the screen and you can enable that on this page. So, sorry about that. In the theme sections, you do get a lot of themes. However, not all the themes will work. I guess we have to wait for an update for that. So it's better to stick to the default theme. As you can see, it's pretty good and nice. Okay, so display and lights. And here you can get lots of stuff. Okay, like you can change the LCD density over here. I would advise you to not to, as it might lead to broken UI elements in some cases. There's, of course, the live display where you can change your color temperature and stuff like that depending on what time of the day it is. Okay, so those are the pretty Cyanogen mod standard stuffs that you get with this ROM. And so that's the detailed overview. Okay, and there's nothing more to tell over here. So if you want to use this ROM on your daily device, it's pretty usable. So head over and install it. The tutorial for installing this ROM would be down in the description below. There's also a tutorial on how to root and okay and install exposed i'm still working on the exposed version however for the root you can just head over and watch the video also the older version of my root video that was there for rooting your lollipop firmware also works on this firmware so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one